Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to a brand new video and today we are going to be releasing the Ultimate 352. Now if you guys do enjoy these tactic videos, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel and do come over to my Twitch. We've actually been live every single day this week. It's probably going to be the same next week as well. We usually go live around sort of 5.30 to 6pm UK time. But do come over, tons of you guys already have, but do come over, it's a real good vibe. We do song requests. There's also going to be a little bit of a giveaway going on very shortly. So do come over, get involved. Obviously, I want you guys to be rewarded for all the support you give me. So make sure you do come and get involved. But let's go over into the testing phase of this video. So we'll kick things off with RB Leipzig. Now, I do want to quickly say that obviously this one was picked by me because I'm a big fan of Leipzig. And you know what? I'm so glad I did because the results were incredible. Um, the Bundesliga, we shouldn't be winning anyway. Dortmund and Bayern should be coming above us. We've won that. We've also won the Champions League with Leipzig, which doesn't happen too often in Teston, um, especially in the first season, unless you strengthen that team. We also won the Pockel. The only one we did lose is going to be the Super Cup, which I don't really care about considering we won these other three massive trophies. And do you know what? The Stats this season were very good. 74 goals for us there. Only 14 conceded. And if you go in terms of the data hub, it's literally what I would have wanted bang on pretty much. 2.18 goals per game, which is a decent amount to be getting with this side. And like I said, you know, a lot of free at the back tactics are all about getting goals, goals, goals. This one is a lot more sort of a controlled ultimate, you know, tactic. It's like, you know, it's designed so you can use it with pretty much everyone. And that's what I wanted to do. Because I can make a tactic right now with three at the back where everyone's attacking. You could score probably getting on for 200 goals a season. But if you haven't got a really good defense, you're going to concede a lot of goals. So I've done my best here. When I describe something as an ultimate tactic, for me, that means a tactic that obviously gets results. But it's also a tactic that is suitable for any standard of team. And I genuinely believe this is. So 2.18 goals per game, a ridiculous pass completion, 90.2% there. And conceded per game, very, very good for a free at the back system. I'm um, sitting at 0.41. So very impressed there in terms of the stats. If you quickly look at the squad stats as well, um, Obviously, you know, we are seeing a lot of the pressure is going to fall on this advanced forward. But typically in most saves, you know, that is going to be the case. You know, your striker is going to be getting the most goals. Unless you're playing strikerless, of course. But um, 56 and you've got 21, obviously, from Silver and Kunku with 11. Then there is a little bit of a drop off here. Same sort of story comes in with the assist. But at the end of the day, we scored enough goal, enough goals and assisted enough, obviously, to get the job done in not only the Bundesliga, but also in the Champions League. And the Pockle. Now, you know, if you're playing, as you want to see later on in the video, with a team that, you know, is ridiculously dominant in their division, you can, we're going to see how many goals this tactic can create. But overall, I wanted to test with a side like this because they're not like obviously bottom, bottom of the table or anything ridiculous like that, but they're not favourites in their division. And there are a lot of teams they could have slipped up to. And the fact we've come in and absolutely thumped it is really, really impressive. When they go over to a viewer suggestion, that is going to be Braga. And I love testing in this division because it is a ton of fun. Braga, as we can see here, are actually, wrong one, are actually predicted to finish fourth. And we have come first, so it is quite an overachievement. Obviously, you know, three places up on that. We also won the Portuguese Cup and got to the semi-finals. I feel like we could have definitely actually possibly won this if we wouldn't have got matched up against Real Madrid. How they are in there, I will never know. Portuguese League Cup, unfortunately, we didn't do that either. But do you know what? Two trophies and a semi-final appearance in the Europa League for our first season, I feel still a very, very good test. 81 goals scored, only 13 conceded. The data hub's going to be complimentary as well. It is 2.38 goals per game, 0.38 conceded, and a 90% pass completion. So you can't really complain any aspect of that at all. The pass completion is the main one I'm sort of looking out for because I want that to be high. The possession's always going to be high. I'm um, just to make it very clear, the possession averaged around about 60% across all of the saves. And that's because this tactic is designed based off of sort of tiki taka style. But I'd say it's more what I've tried to do is make it a controlling tactic where you can literally just drain the life out the opposition, pass the ball around, just, you know, break them down slowly. And it really did work very, very well, as we can see. In terms of some of the players then, the goals, so we're going to have 36 coming in from Virginia, um, Abel Ruiz with 25. We then go in with 11 here, 9, 9, 9, 7, 7. So, you know, okay, a couple of, okay, we've got loads of loan, loaned out players and loads of loanees. So that's actually quite hard. A lot of them were on loan. Um, But the assists, we're going to see, you know, 22, 21. So to this guy, 12, 9, Seven, six, five, five. So again, a lot of people getting involved with the goals, but it's a, it's a similar story in 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 the, in the sense of you know it's not the most crazy out there sort of statistics in terms of you know we're not scoring five hundred goals a season, 
But as I said, what this tactic does is win games. That's exactly what I'm trying to, you know, it's what I want to release. When I release an ultimate tactic, it has to be like this because I stress a lot when you guys obviously don't find success with your saves. So if you do have a struggle with any of the tactics, please do message me on Twitter or Instagram or join the Discord. And that is the best place. I help so many people. Um, if you go over to my Twitter now, we actually, I put a conversation up I had with a viewer and it was really nice because obviously I can, I helped him. He was having an awful season um, with one of his tactics one of his tactics sorry and i thought you know what i was like you know, we can tweak this we can tweak that so if you ever have any issues do come over and trust me i will help but overall two tests done so far and in my opinion two successful ones we then go over into the turkish division and this one is going to be an interesting one it is going to be a viewer suggestion i actually took this one from the fm scout channel this is going to be a dana in the turkish division as i just said if we go into the club info they are predicted to finish in sixth place now what I'm going to say with this is we've actually done incredibly well. You can see here 86 points compared to Fenerbahce's 81. So, you know, it's not a ridiculous, you know, solid display. But at the end of the day, it, it got the job done. We also won the Turkish Cup, which, in my opinion, is, again, a big accomplishment because this club isn't the top, top teams. I mean, just from what I know briefly about Turkish football, um, Fenerbahce, obviously, Trasmazor, Besiktas, Galatasaray, some teams that you should be expecting to actually be, you know, above us in the table. And we've come out and absolutely wiped the floor with all of them, which is what I want to be seeing. 86 gold scores, ranking us the best. 17 conceded, also ranking us the best. If we go in terms of the data hub, this pass completion drops a little bit, but it's still very, very, very high. 80 base, 89% practically, 2.39 goals per game and 0.47. So do you know what? Really, really happy with this as well, because so far we've tested with teams where we, we're not clear favourites at all. You know, we're not... um. We're not going in as like, you know, a PSG, a Real Madrid, any of these sort of big, big boys, which we are going to see and sort of compare how that does work if you are playing as them. But considering we're playing as teams which aren't clear, clear favourites, we're putting up some ridiculous stat lines and that is exactly what I want to be seeing. In terms of the goals though, we're actually going to see a lot more balance come out of this team. We're looking at, uh, you know, 30, 18, 18, 10, 9, 5, 4. So, you know, we've got some high numbers here, then a good contribution there as well. Then there are still some, you know, four free goals a season. They could be important goals. We never know. We take all the goals. We take them all into consideration. There's still quite a few people getting involved with that. And in terms of the assisters, it's exactly the same story. 23 here. Um, actually, our left back coming in with the most assists, which is which is which is good to see because the full backs do play such a crucial role in this system. 13, 12, 10, 9, 7, 7, 4, 3. So, you know, quite a few, you know, different people coming in and contributing in that way as well. But overall, I'd say we've done sort of three saves and we're looking at almost very, very similar statistics, which is good because this shows that it's consistent with these standard of teams. What we're going to do now is we're going to show you guys what happens when you play with a slightly better side that might be a touch more dominant in their division. Well, this is what happens when you play as a slightly more dominant team or the dominant team in your division. You absolutely run away with it. You really do. You mock the division. You mock every trophy possible. We won the Champions League. We won the Bundesliga. We won the Pockel. We won the Super Cup. We won literally everything available to us. Scoring 95 goals. So we've seen a bit of an increase there. 12 goals only conceded as well. Discipline's ridiculous. I mean, best on the yellow cards, best on the red cards. And it wasn't even close to the Bundesliga. It was a complete write-off. We absolutely dominated it. And we mocked all the other competitions as well. We really did. Um... This is really what this tactic can achieve. And obviously, I like to include a couple of powerhouses because I know a lot of you guys either decide to play as really good teams or you've played a save for so long, you've built up a team that is very similar in terms of quality to these sides. If we go into the data hub now, we're going to see it. So, I mean, it really is one-sided. We're talking 90% pass completion, 0.35 conceded per game and 2.79 goals per game. So, I mean, we are talking about a tactic that struggles not at all when it comes to conceding goals and it can score over two and a half goals consistently and i will be going over a way and obviously showing you in the tactics page how you can easily get this to score more but for me i wanted to release a tactic that you know i do a lot of high scoring tactics on this channel so i wanted to have a tactic that is more balanced but does get enough goals to win games and this ticks every single box if we go in terms of the squad we're looking here so we're going to have 50 coming in from sadio mane now this squad is packed with quality as we know sensational team 50, 21, 16, 13, 12, 6, 5, 4, 4, 4. In terms of the assisters, 27. Alpha, this is really good to see, by the way, because there's two fullbacks. Kimmich should have a little stint on the right-hand side. So we've got Kimmich, 
Um, Davies both with 27, 10, 9, 9, 7, 7, 5, 5. So this point onwards, our class has a decent amount of assists and upwards. And it's really good to see them fullbacks coming in, getting involved. We can see even Pavard with seven. Obviously, a lot of them appearances are going to be from being a substitute, probably when Kimmich was injured, to be fair. But do you know what? It's a really good thing to see because the fullbacks are a real, real important thing. That's That would be my piece of advice. Make sure you've got somewhat of a creative fullback to play this system. If not, get one or train them to become a little bit more out there, a little bit more creative because they do play such an influential role. And then I thought, do you know what? Let's test with another powerhouse. Let's test with the team with the man on the thumbnail, Vincius Jr. Inspired by their comeback against Liverpool, I was inspired to use him. And do you know what? I'm glad I did because... This is even better because we won five trophies. We won the Spanish division. We won the Champions League versus Manchester City. We won the Super Cup, the Frankfurt. We won the Spanish Cup versus Real Haspalis. We won the um, Spanish Super Cup against Valencia. And it was complete domination. We only conceded nine goals across the entire season. And we scored 105. So do you know what? It is a ridiculous season. And if we go into it right now, this is actually the season where we went invincible. Picking up four draws, so, you know, it's not a complete 38 wins, but you know what? Absolutely ridiculous display. And I know, you know, we are definitely one of the favourites alongside, well, actually, probably favour Barcelona, if you are looking at real life and actually, you know, comparing the two. But there are a lot of teams in this division that can, you know, possibly beat us, and they just didn't have a chance. I mean, we've obviously beaten Barcelona on two occasions. We've beaten Atletico Madrid, who had a shocking season, by the way, so in seventh place, which is awful for them. There are a lot of teams you can slip up to in this division, so it is nice to see, especially with three at the back, how consistent we were with this. If you go into the data hub right now, general performance is absolutely, it's going to be nuts. Basically, 90% pass completion, 2.76 goals per game, and only 0.24 goals conceded. So, very, very happy with that. That is definitely for sure. In terms of the squad, we'll go for the goals, because that is goals, goals, goals. Um, obviously, we've got some fantastic talent here. Vincius Jr., um, in my opinion, he might be my favourite player in the game. He's absolutely nuts. 61, 52 from Kareem Benzema, 11 for Tushinemi. We've got nine coming in for Rudiger. Rodrigo with nine, six for Alaba. Um, Audrey Zola coming in with three. In terms of the assists, we've got 18, 18, 16, 14, 14, 11, 10, 8. Yeah, I think that's the best we've seen in terms of like more players having higher stats. There's obviously one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven. Seven with 10 and above, as you know, it's not far off the start on 11. I'm um, contributing, you know, with 10 or more assists. And it's going to be a very similar story, actually. It's going to be Mendy picking up a load of assists, Carver Hull, you know, a couple of the fullbacks really getting involved. And it's what we love to see. It is really what we love to see. And after such a dominating season like that, I feel like it's only now right we go and watch some of these games or a game. We'll watch one game today because obviously we've tested with five teams instead of four. But let's go ahead and pick out a game, maybe from this save, because obviously it was so good, and watch it. So then the game I picked out is going to be a little bit of a derby day because I wanted to, you know, try and get one of these in. And it is going to be against Borussia Dortmund in what was a 4 0 win. As we're going to see Muller obviously get it from Mane into Alfonso Davies who hits it straight at Cabell, to be honest. I feel like possibly he should be doing better there, but we'll take it anyway. It's then going to be Kimmich with a ball over the top into the Picano. It's a bit of a scrappy one, actually, as he sort of flicks it back into the danger area. And Musiala, obviously, is lucky enough to sort of get the tap in. Schlotterbeck here with a little bit of questionable defending, but we are seeing the intense press coming in from Muller into Mane. And in the back of the net, it's as simple as that. You know, when you when you dedicate so many players forward, you really do put the other team under pressure. We can see here again how far Alfonso Davies can push up, but it is also covered by them sort of wide centre backs into Musiala. And I think that was actually a hit from him. And it turns into a really good ball from him. And it's actually going to be Trooper Moting, who obviously gets quite an easy header in the end against a very, very good Borussia Dortmund team. But we absolutely dominated it. We're talking 22 shots, nine on target. Great XG and 65% of the ball. It's an absolute stomping. So we're now going to get into your favorite part of the video, which is going to be the tactic breakdown. If you have enjoyed so far, please do leave a like, show some love by subscribing to the channel and also leaving a comment on what you think of this tactic. And also please do come over to the Twitch. Um, we live practically every evening. We also re we make tactics, we review tactics. I answer questions about your tactics. We've got a let's play going on. We've got a fantasy draft going on, song requests. There's so much going on. Loads of ways you guys can actually get involved with playing with me as well. So do come over, get involved. And if you also want to join the Discord, link is in the description. It's really good to hear from you guys. See how your saves are going. I'm always in there being active with you. So do come over, get involved. But you know what? Let's go ahead now and break down which is going to be the third tactic of the week. So the ultimate 352, a request which I've seen several times over the past couple of months and one which we have now finally fulfilled. 
now happy I can officially release it. I want to make sure a tactic, in my opinion, is flawless. And in my opinion, the results speak for themselves. And I was just really happy with how this has turned out. So we're going to kick things off then. It's going to be based off a vertical tiki taka style, positive mentality in possession, fairly wide, pass into space, overlap left and the right, and play out of defense. The overlap options are so crucial. You need to have this on, obviously, for the fullbacks to overlap, etc. etc. A shorter pass and directness, a higher tempo, run at defense, and low crosses. Now, the reason why I've gone with low crosses, despite having two strikers, is because I noticed um with the overlap and fullbacks, obviously you do get that whip. Also, some of the midfielders will drift out sometimes. Um, when they get into them areas going up the field in the wide areas, they find it very easy to sort of progress a little bit more towards the center of the goal and then just fizz a ball across on the floor as I believe we actually get to saw um, we got saw sorry in those games there but do you know what it works so so well now this is something you could tweak if you've got two absolute giants up front you could possibly even test it with floated crosses or mixed crosses but do you know what I would give low crosses a go guys it's something which I never really give the time of day at all before I've recently started using it a lot and it trust me it works really well in transition you want counter press counter distribute to the center backs and also take short goal picks out of possession you want a high defensive line a high press line of engagement much more often and prevent short goal distribution now obviously if you are conceding too many I don't know how you would be because we even didn't concede too many with the smaller teams can drop this line down to what would be a standard but the higher definitely does help out a lot in my opinion um in terms of actually i was going to explain how you could get more goals with this tactic um just from then team instructions alone you could obviously change it and go in attacking against the smaller teams if i was playing this season personally and i didn't simulate against the small teams i probably would have gone attacking to be honest in possession you could definitely look to go more expressive um that pretty much would be the only bit of advice i'd have on that i wouldn't recommend shoot on site or anything like that in transition, I guess you have to distribute quickly on if you really want to get things going as quick as they can be. And in terms of this, there's not really too much you can do. But there would be a little couple of tweaks there you could possibly make if you desperately need a goal or for some reason you want to try and start breaking some records. But the sweeper keeper is going to be on support, on take more risks. We're going to have two ball playing and defenders. The one on the right is dribble less, stay wider, take more risks and hold position. And the one on the left is exactly the same. So the right one and the left one, exactly the same two ball playing defenders now the reason why and they have to be on stay wider if you take this off what will happen is your fullback will go up the field then there'll be a massive gap either side if you imagine this player here so as we saw alfonso davies he was literally like here the wing back if you imagine he's here then your center back isn't drifting out here to cover it so much space you're going to get exploited and you're going to struggle so it's a must must thing then we have a central defender on defender in the middle shoot less often dribble less and hold position and then we have two wing backs which i believe are exactly the same now the reason why these are on automatic and not attack when they were on attack i was still actually way too vulnerable so they're on automatic so they do a little bit of both now we've got them on aim the cross at the center sit narrower and run wide with the ball exactly the same left and the right hand side we then go over to the midfield now these in my opinion were the best three roles a box to box is crucial in this tactic because we want one of the midfield players to obviously contribute going forwards but also come back and he is on support shoot less often move into channels tackle harder and run from position and the deep line playmaker on defend more direct passes take more risks tackle harder shoot less often dribble less and hold position and then the Mets are the most attacker midfield player. You could get away with an advanced playmaker if you've got one or a player that prefers to play that. Dribble more, tackle harder, take more risks, get further forward, stay wider, move into channels and roam from position. That leaves us with two more players, a deep line forward on support, roam from position, hold up ball, take more risks and move into channels. And the advanced forward on attack, shoot more often and move into channels. Now, so I said at the start of the video, I am going to go over ways you could definitely look to try and get a few more goals out of this tactic. Obviously, be aware the more attacking you go, the higher chance you've got to concede and more. That's just how football works. So one of the things that comes to mind you could do, you obviously could put these wing backs on attack, especially against smaller teams if you want to try and stomp a couple of them. You could easily look to have this deep line playmaker on support, make them a little bit more progressive. To be honest, you could even look to have if you're playing a team that you're very confident against or you're possibly behind in a game you need a goal you could easily keep this metzala here and then possibly introduce you know 
you could go with a central midfielder um, on automatic and have sort of him push up with the box to box. So you could really do a lot of stuff with this tactic. But this is how I went into all of the games, obviously, as we tested. And I think the results were really, really good. And it's taken a long time to make it, guys. So if you have enjoyed it, please do social, um, show sorry, show some support on the video because it was a bit of a challenge to make this one. But in my opinion, the time was worth it because we have now got a fantastic three at the back tactic. But guys, that is going to be it for me. As I said, if you have enjoyed, please do leave a like on the video. You guys are absolutely killing it at the moment. You love the company tactics. So if you haven't watched that, I would recommend you go and check that out because that is doing absolute numbers at the moment. Please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on Sunday for guess what? Another tactic.